you have to deal with a big heavy workload uh, from that season and did you change your routine at all? Uh, yeah, I think I remember playing, uh, I think up, up towards 20 games straight and it, that was uh, that was a good learning period about playing every night and and yeah, getting used to that workload uh, both mentally and physically. I think you just gotta, there's so many different uh, mindsets of how much you're playing, uh, if you're playing every night, if you're playing every now and then and uh, so and so. But, you just got to be able to, to switch your mindset every night and, and, and be ready for every every shot. So that's uh, that's probably the best uh, best way to go about it. Did you find it a bigger challenge mentally or physically? Uh, I don't know to be honest. I, it's it's obviously both pretty hard, but uh, mentally it's about uh, it's about learning to to be ready for every night and, and obviously physically you do, you got to be able to to re recover every. Uh, Every day you're not playing. And, I mean, this year you're in line to start more than ever before. Uh, you know, how excited are you? I guess about that challenge possibility. Yeah, I'm very excited about it. Uh, it'd, be, it'd be cool to play uh, maybe more than that. And, and uh, yes, obviously after the 82, we'd love to be playing still. So we uh, that's our main goal, and it's not so much about. Obviously, I want to help help the team win as much as many games as I can. So it's. Uh, it's fun being in that uh, a lot. What do you know about uh, Antoine? Uh, I've seen, hung out with him a little bit uh, before the season and uh, during the, the training camp, obviously. But uh, other than that, I don't know too much about uh, how he plays. But uh, excited to have him and, uh, and see uh, see if he can help out. Do you feel a little bad for for Jonas that uh, you know it's cut, kind of a cutthroat game, a cutthroat league kind of thing? Yeah, I mean, if you look back, I, I didn't really get in the group before uh, for, before my first four or five games, so. Um, for him, getting to, getting to play only four is obviously tough, but uh, obviously you're, you're always in different situations, and, and, and you got to make the best of it. I think, uh, yeah, he's a good guy to have, and I like him. So it's uh, it's tough to see when 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 a guy doesn't play as good as you want to be. Want to be. You're wearing a Toronto FC hat. They have a big game this Saturday. What can you just say about the brotherhood amongst Toronto sports team? Yeah, I think uh, just. Uh, the city in general and the community. I think uh, yesterday we were being at the Sick Kids Hospital. I think, uh, yeah, it goes beyond just sports teams. And, and I think, uh, yeah, the, just, just the whole city, uh, everyone's uh, supportive of each other. And, and it feels good to to both help the community and, and support other sports teams. Pretty, what was it like catching up with Bruce there, your old coach, yeah, the guy fun. who was giving you all those starts back in the day? Yeah, it was fun. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen him in a little bit. Uh, so didn't get to talk to him last time, but uh, it's good catching up a little bit and see. Uh, Good to see uh, see him doing well too, and uh, yeah, winning some some games with uh, with many there, and uh, yeah, he's a good coach. So, but uh, yeah, you want you want uh, you want to see good things for good good people. We love talking to him. He's got quite a quotable uh, nature. What was he like as a coach? Yeah, he was a great coach. He was always uh, pretty much in a good mood. Uh, obviously, if we weren't playing great, he wasn't the most happy guy. But <laughs> I think that's every coach. But uh, yeah, he was uh, he was a good guy to have in the locker room and. Um, yeah, he, he treated me well too.